Hi there, it's Fitzy, and today I have a DIY for you that's only marginally paper crafty, but it's something I think we all can use right now, going back to school with masks and everything. So once in a while, I actually use the surgical, you know, the, the paper thingies that you get whenever you left yours and need to go somewhere and they hand you something. I think every one of us has been assaulted by um, ads for these mask sleeves. Kind of like tuck them in your pocket and you know like without them getting rumpled or dirty or whatever. And I thought hey um, I have tons of fun paper. I can do that myself and don't have to pay for them anyways. So I use um, quite thin design paper, printed paper. Um, and my laminator. You could use a stronger paper or um, even cardstock if you didn't want to laminate them or just cold laminate it with some um, packing tape. Works fine too. Whatever is your choice of material, just go for it. I'm just giving you the measures I used so you can go ahead and start. You need a piece of paper or whatever you can use a binder back plastic whatever mine is seven and three quarters by three and three quarters and that's all you need mine is pretty flimsy so I'll be laminating mine landscape you'll score that by three and five eighths and four and an eighth. Portrait, you'll score this at two and a quarter, obviously, and two and a half, which is way easier than German, actually. Now, you can go ahead and score. I have one extra score line, which is like not what I wanted, but Anyways, go ahead and score your score lines. And then you go ahead and put your paper back into your trimmer on your score lines and go in with your knife, with your blade, and cut up to the second horizontal score line. Move it over. three and five eighths and move it over okay so this is in the end what you will end up with so what I'm doing is I'm cutting this off and using my half inch my half inch um, circle to cut out the back And then I go back in, or you can use scissors, whichever way you prefer, and cut off like a quarter inch from the top to the first score line. So like quarter inch from the top, can you see that? It's like a quarter, quarter inch from the top to the first score line. So this is basically your sleeve. I, for my part, go in and do the corners with my corner chomper. I use a quarter inch. And then I actually go in and sliver Cut a sliver off the side too for it not to come out when folded up, but that's totally optional. Which is basically it, and I use a really big corner rounder for my inner 
which doesn't like, obviously doesn't like thin paper. But duh, go ahead and cut it. Just so my stuff doesn't get stuck. Okay, so this basically is the sleeve. What else do we need? We need another tiny notch for the rubber bands going behind your ears, which goes here. Let me see. For them not to, you know, slip. So this is what I'm taking to my laminator, putting it through with whatever kind of laminating pouch you have. If you want to decorate this with a name or like, I don't know, Anna's mask or my mask hands off or whatever, this is the time to do it because now you know where your flaps are, where your front is, where your back is, and now you can decorate it. For demonstration purposes alone, I will just run this through the laminator and be back in a second. Now I actually ran this through the laminator. I'm just cutting down my laminating pouch to where it just closes around my paper edges at like, I don't know, really, really narrow borders. I think if you had used um, cardstock you might actually need to probably cut it right to the edges to because it wouldn't close with this small laminating pouch border. This would probably even make a fun gift or something for grandma or grandpa if you had your kids um, draw on the sheet of paper before you laminated it or use um, a photocopy of um, a picture make a picture collage and print it out and stuff like that that could be fun now go ahead and refold your refold your score lines your fold lines if you had thicker paper you would probably want to rescore them on the scoreboard before going in and you know walking them up but with my thin paper I'm good like this So there you go, this is your sleeve, which is a half inch wide, quarter inch on the bottom, and um, the mask goes in. You just put in the mask, fold it up in half lengthwise and heightwise, and then wrap around the, the rubber thingies for your ears. Funnily enough, I don't even have a mask to show <laughs> to you right now. I do have masks, I do even such to put in here but I don't have one in hand hope you like the project consider subscribing if you haven't yet I'm um, going back in and dubbing my German videos into English and I'm making an effort to actually do most projects bilingually so um, hope you have fun hope to see you back here and please consider subscribing see you later bye